Okay? So, all I have to do is just release, I can feel it pulling here. I can feel it trying to pull through. So let me just release it and show you. Now what's going to happen, I'm going to do this by hand first. As this magnet goes through, it gets a little bit more speed. This speed here takes it to this magnet. Now, each time it goes to one of these magnets, or leapfrogs to the next magnet, it gets a teensy, weensy, little tiny bit more of speed. So it means that when this one comes through, this magnet is going through a little bit faster than the lead magnet. So that means that when this one goes through, it's going to pick up a teensy, weensy, little tiny bit of, of speed, which when it gets to this magnet now, this magnet here will enter into the stator going just a little bit faster. Okay, and so forth. And then the next one is it leapfrogs the next one. And then the next one. The whole point here, though, is that by the time it gets to this last one, I could put more on here, but I've only put this many on here to show you principle, that it will have so much speed or inertia that by the time it gets to the end of this line of magnets, which all of these here, all of these you can see here, by the time it gets to the last one, it will have so much speed or inertia that it will just come through and it won't pull back. Now I'm going to let this go for a moment. You'll see it will pull back. See, it wants to pull back. It even wants to cog. Well, hang on a second. I'm going to let, let me let you watch it cog. See? Well, hi, Scott. Good to see you back. Yeah. Just don't touch the wheel this time, okay, young man? Okay, so. Now, let's go to the point in principle. Remember, what I'm about to show you is epic. This is extremely important. Just like the bygone days of when combustion engine was one cylinder, and look what engines are today. If you will, this is my one cylinder right here. Okay, this is one cylinder. <laughs> okay, but it's just no compression. Okay, unlike the true combustion engine. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to just, I can feel the pull right here. The, the traction has begun. I can feel it. I'm just going to raise my hand up and watch it pull itself through. A little faster, a little faster, just a little bit faster, a little bit faster, and yay, it goes all the way through. Now, this next set of magnets are going to come around. They're not properly spaced. I uh, didn't make it because there wasn't enough speed here going on. Now, again, the importance of this is absolutely epic. I mean, it's a paradigm shift in the industry. You have to be able to create a stator that attracts it in one direction but allows the last magnet to pull all the way through. Sky, are you getting yourself into trouble again? Okay, so... As you can see, it goes all the way through, and the last magnet made it. Now, had there been another stator here, right here, and then say another one, one third of the way around, or one stator, one fourth, every all, each spot, 25% of each position. In other words, four stators on this evenly spaced. Um, that would have allowed this to continue to go. Now, I have to make another stator. I, my second one, I tore apart for the video. These are really, really hard to make. They just are. They're tricky, and once you get them made right, they're really, really sweet. So, um, then I'll build a second one and put it here. The wheel, when it's on its side, has way too much friction. It just doesn't work well at all. So, the video I made last night with the cat playing with it and slowing down the wheel uh, was just to show the cat being cute with the wheel. It was never intended as a quote-unquote epic video. Um, documenting something monumental in history, although it does. Somebody's already left a negative post uh, about it, but you know what? It doesn't make any difference. Uh, my my videos are real. They're genuine. I'm not faking anything here. There's no trickery. There's no fishing lines like Marlo or Milo, whatever his name was, did, and he finally confessed or fessed up. Um, so anyway, that's about it. Um... Again, there are two sets of magnets on here. There's one set here, and there's another set over here. They're even on each side to try to keep this wheel balanced as best as possible, especially when it's vertical, because if it's not balanced vertically, 
um, then the wheel just doesn't work at all. So anyway, that's what I wanted to share with you. That I have overcome the sticky spot. And um, this is night and day. If you know anything about this, you realize how extremely important my achievement is here. A little bit faster, a little bit faster, a little bit faster, a little bit faster, and voila, it went all the way through. Okay? Now, I'll show you this other set that's not properly spaced properly. I can feel the pull here, and it's not going to make it all the way through. I'm pretty sure it won't. Watch. I'm, gonna let, I'm just going to let go of it. This guy, you, don't, you, leave, you leave the wheel alone. Okay? Here we go. I'm just let go now. Uh, no, not quite. You see, it, when the magnets are a little too close together, the, the, the leapfrogging is not maximizing uh, the acceleration. And thereby, when it gets to the last magnet, it's really not going fast enough to pull it all the way through. So that's a good example there. This is the sticky spot, if you will, that people have trouble with. Now, usually the bigger sticky spot is, is that you'll see in videos, they've got to push it through their stator with force. And then once they push it through, it'll go all the way through, and then the last magnet will go all the way through and come out on the other end. Whereas mine, I don't have to do that. All I have to do is just let my hand off of it, and it'll just go automatically. Now, these are the magnets that are not properly spaced. Uh, almost. Okay, so, but do the other one, the other set, which is properly spaced, right here. Again, let me just let it go, and it should go all the way through just, should go all the way through just fine. See, went all the way through. Whereas this set of magnets is not correct. It won't go all the way through. See, it's going to pull it back. Okay, and that is better known as a sticky spot. That's one of the two dilemmas of a sticky spot. Because what people tell you is that, like the pendulum on a, on a clock swinging back and forth, the energy keeps coming back and forth. So what happens is, when it gets so far past it, what... It sees, it attracts, and pulls it back, and it just starts rocking back and forth like that. Like, eh. I can't get it to cog because my one-way stator, stator is uh, keeps trying to move it through. Anyway, um, because these are spaced further apart, they'll cog easier. Watch. See, now it's cogging. It's rocking back and forth. Attraction, repulsion, attraction, repulsion, attraction, repulsion. And this is what everybody has to overcome. You have to make it so one side of the attraction versus the repulsion is in balance. So there's more repulsion than there is attraction or vice versa, whichever way you want to go about it. When you get them in imbalance, like 60-40, which is what this is all about, my stator there, my James Roney stator, custom designed by me, um, that's how I get the imbalance in the wheel. And once you create an imbalance, then you get past the sticky spot. Okay, enough said. I think I've explained this enough in detail. Now you should get it. And uh, so, again, you're welcome to repost this elsewhere as long as it's not for any financial gain. And uh, I guess that's about it. And um, that's all that's fit to, re to report here for right now. I'm going to go ahead and spin this a little bit. It will go for a little while, even with the goofed up magnets, but trust me, it is losing speed. And also on its side with this archaic setup, there's more friction here than, than necessary. Alrighty. Well, anyway, this is James Roney Staters with free magnetic energy dot info. Signing out.